you cannot beat this. There is nothing that's this size that sounds this good. Todd here to talk to you about the EVE Audio SC203. These are powered monitors and I gotta say, I'm in love with them. I was recommended these by several people actually, and I'd never heard of Eve Audio before. One of the guys that started Adam Audio evidently started Eve Audio. So the tweeter you may notice looks a little familiar, sort of like the one in the Atom. Sort of a similar idea, which is a very high-end type of tweeter. Now, the little woofer here, you'll notice, three inches. And so I was thinking, no bass response, right? Terrible bass response. Well, I was wrong. On the back, you'll notice this, the passive radiator. Essentially, this acts like a sort of mini subwoofer. This entire thing is sealed, so there's no port. It's not a ported cabinet, which many monitors are ported. And especially near fields, and it results in a bass that's a little boomy. Well, not here. Here, it's entirely sealed, and the passive radiator kicks out the low-frequency information. Sounds like um, a much bigger speaker. Even though three-inch woofer here, and the radiator on the back, it sounds a lot like, say, a pair of near-field monitors with six-inch or eight-inch drivers. Just an astounding amount of bass for the size. These are small enough these will fit in your backpack. I mean, these are really tiny monitors. They're powered. The amp is in this one. It connects with one cable to the second one, and that's how it's powered. So all the amplifiers live in the primary unit, which has the volume control and the input selector. Now on the back, you'll notice, very handy, left and right analog inputs, a subwoofer output. So if you want to, you can run a sub with these, which I've done, and it sounds amazing. A USB connection. This will connect directly to your laptop via USB and have a direct digital signal from your laptop, which I've done, and it sounds great. An optical input. I connected my PlayStation 4 to this, and it sounded great via the optical input. Now, power, it goes in right here. This connector is where the cable connects the other speaker so that you get left and right. Now, these look tiny. They really do. They are tiny. It's a very small form factor speaker. Where it gets interesting is when you plug them in, turn them on, and hear that they sound huge. All right, I was unprepared for this. I had serious doubts. Now, the only way to really show this to you is to let you hear these, but you're probably watching this video on your phone or on a little laptop, so it wouldn't do any good for me to play these. You couldn't hear what they sound like. The best thing to do is to literally try and go to someone that has a pair or find a shop that carries them. You have to experience these in person because you just won't believe what they sound like until you actually hear them. I didn't. I had serious doubts. Like, no, these won't be any good. Now I trust them so much, I'm actually doing mastering, mastering, with these, with no subwoofer. They're that accurate. I'm working on a project with a band called Anti-M from Los Angeles, and I'm doing mastering on their next release on these guys, right? It started as a test. The track turned out so good, I'm doing the rest of them now on these. And so I'm taking them to different places and seeing if I can basically master songs just wherever I happen to be, pull these out of my backpack, put the laptop with it, and boom, there you go. Bob's your uncle. It's time for mastering. They're that accurate. So, I gotta say, I don't know how they've done it, but they've managed to get what sounds like, you know, an 8-inch driver, you know, near-field Mackie speaker stuffed into something this small, which is amazing. Now, in addition to that, they work great for games or music, anything you want, because they've got multiple inputs. Now, this one knob does everything. So it's the volume knob. It's a, it's a continuous rotating wheel. Also, you push in on it, and it does the input selection. Okay? So there are videos um, about 
all of the intricacies of that. You can also, if you want, change uh, the high pass filter, low pass filter, the balance, all kinds of stuff. What's handy is when you plug them into USB, your laptop, they automatically show up, right, as an audio interface for output. So you just select them and boom, you're ready to go. No drivers, no nothing. So yeah, I'm completely impressed. Thank you very much for recommending me these speakers. Uh, there's a lot of stuff on the internet about these, and so far all I've read was positive. So I was like, I have to, I have to try these to see if it's true, and it is. So this is my first pair of Eves, the 203. I'm going to try and eventually get uh, a bigger pair as well to see how they match with the smaller pair, see if mixes translate. But for these, you cannot beat this. There is nothing that's this size that sounds this good. <laughs>